wiglaf stands on the edge of the lake shore the quiet lapping of the the tiny waves against the beach fills his ears it's the largest body of water he's ever seen in his life and it stretches for many many miles across farther than he can see to the opposite side in the middle of it is an island that's several miles maybe 10 miles uh, across and who knows how many miles wide and there is a partially crumbling but still mostly intact tower standing up above the trees on the island going up above the top tallest branches but his attention has been focused on the waters of the lake that have remained calm ever since he got here ever since he first saw the little eye stalk the giant eye stalks of the massive crab the kalanek with a stinging claw and a grasping claw and he knows he has to somehow cross this lake without being captured and dragged under and eaten by the Kalanect. So somehow he has to get himself and his dog Griff to the island with the spire in it, which I'm going to call Spire Island, for lack of a better term, without being taken by the Kalanect. Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is Iron Sworn Antarctica. We are with our player character Wiglaf. This has been quite a long campaign. I'm actually really pleased with it. We have many, many progress marks to go on our epic quest to defeat the Grendel, but we have a different monstrosity to deal with now. We have the Kalanect. As we are attempting to complete this uh, Vengeance Vow. Now, we were supposed to travel to Sundered Lake, and we did do that. So we have now completed the first sort of condition, the first milestone on this quest. So we reach a milestone and we will mark that if it will let me. What's going on here? Why is it not letting me mark? There we go. Okay. So we mark a milestone. Um, we've made one tick. We have a long way to go. And um, we have to cross the lake to get to the spire, right? And that will be... Maybe the next step in our vow, right, um, to get across the lake. So we've completed one step, and we can uh, cross that off. So now we need to get across the lake. And I decided to do this as a scene challenge. The scene is to avoid the Kalanect. So Wiglaf is the protagonist. The Kalanect is the antagonist. It's going to try and get us while we try to get across the lake. So... We're going to do a scene challenge, facing danger, uh, securing advantage. I might use other moves. I was actually talking about scene challenges with the folks on the Ironsworn Discord, and several of them said that although they like the idea of scene challenges, it becomes really repetitive when it's just face danger, face danger, secure advantage, face danger, secure advantage. And that's kind of boring. However, there aren't a lot of other moves I think we can make right here. Uh, maybe gather information or something would work. But I think I'm going to try to stick as much as I can with the scene challenge rules until I've got some sort of a sense of how I would maybe house rule it to be different. So we're going to be um, making either secure advantage, which doesn't get progress, but gives us bon possible bonuses and momentum, and facing danger. So Wiglaf assesses the situation and... He's going to, actually, it's evening. Well, let's see, is it evening? Uh, let's say it's middle of the day. And um, if we look at our, let's sort of review. Uh, we actually spent a number of days. It's been about a week. We undertook the journey several times. The first time out, right outside of town, uh, a day or so outside of town, we found a small uh, cabin in the woods, and we were able to resupply on a couple of strong hits, and then we undertook a journey, and we found a watchtower, um, and there was a wounded free warden named Bastion in there who told us about this Kalanect. That was the weak hit complication. She told us about an unexpected danger, and that's what it is. And it's not totally unexpected. We knew there was something in the lake, but now we know what it is. And then we burnt some momentum to get to the lake, and we resupplied. And now we are uh, at the edge of the lake, ready to continue. And so, um, so we need to get across the lake, and Wiglaf... Uh, is going to decide. Right? The first thing, we know we can't swim. He's got a dog with him. So what he's going to do is take his his hatchet and he is going to cut down some uh, some smaller saplings 
in the area and he's going to attempt to build himself a raft so that's going to be securing an advantage he's preparing to cross the lake he's going to try and build a raft now i want to point out we had to burn momentum a couple times so we only have two momentum right now so we're not going to be burning any momentum right because there's no you can't burn anything but a one with two momentum and there's no point to burning a one um, because we're going to have higher than that so we're we're securing advantage and um, if we look at secure an advantage move we're making preparations using is this with strength or with wits I feel like an argument can be made for both, right? He's got to use his strength to chop down the trees and everything, but he's got to use his wits to build the boat, to build the raft. I'm going to say, I, I guess I'm being uh, like a mean GM. And, uh, you know, Sean Tompkins talks about this, how people are often harder on themselves than the GM would be. As a game master, I might say, go ahead and roll plus iron. But I don't want to be too easy on myself. But we're going to roll plus wits. And so we roll. Ah, first roll of the night. We roll a two, a one plus two is three against double nines. This is a matched miss. I don't know if the Kalanect is going to come jumping out of the river at us. Let's, we haven't done this yet. Let's try rolling on the plot twist. So somewhere over here is a major plot twist that we can roll on. And let's see what it tells us. We get a 44. You and an enemy share a common goal. Interesting. You and an enemy share a common goal. Well, there aren't any enemies in this area. So I'm not sure what that means. I think Kalanect is the only enemy. We share a common goal. I mean, I'm not sure what that could possibly mean. The Kalanect is not an intelligent being. Right? It's a crab. So maybe it's enemies with the Grendel. But that's still a miss. So we need to pay the price. So I'm going to say here that the Kalanect is actually, I don't know whether this is going to come up or not, but I'm going to say the Kalanect is a natural enemy of the Grendel. Okay, so I don't know if that's going to come up or not, but we also need to pay the price. So we failed to chop down. So I think this is pretty obvious. First move out of the gate. We break the hatchet, and we're not going to be able to build a raft. So, um, so in terms of the scene challenge, we marked the countdown box, and we paid the price. So now we don't have a hatchet, and the question is, what are we going to do next? We need to get across, and we can't make a raft so we have to get across some other way swimming is really not an option so i'm going to pause here while i think about this since building a raft didn't work and we can't build one now so i got to do something else so let me have a think and i'll see what comes to my mind all right so we know the kalanect is in the lake but maybe it's not in the river. Maybe it doesn't go up the river. The river is flowing down at a pretty high rate of speed. So maybe the Kalanect isn't going to be able to swim up here. So Wiglaf is going to come up here and he's look, going to look for a ford in the river. He's going to see if he can find a spot in the river that he can get across. Um, I think this is... I hate to say it, I think this is securing an advantage again because um, even though I don't like making moves again, he's not actually crossing. He's just looking for a way to get across. And this is definitely wits. So let's try again. We roll another one, guys, but we roll a 9 and a 1. So 1 plus 2 is 3 against a 9 and a 1 weak hit. So we choose one of the above. And I think we're going to choose to make another move at plus one. Um, or do we want to get some momentum here? I think we're going to get some momentum. So he uh, comes up and he finds a spot that's a little shallow in the river. 
maybe it's only like shoulder height and he can put Griff on his shoulders and cross the river. Now you might say, why is he crossing the river? Well, we saw the Kalanick down here. So maybe we can come over here and try to get through without the Kalanick seeing us. There may also be stuff over here that we can examine the area and see uh, what we get. Um, but first, let's go ahead and um, take the momentum. And now we're going to cross the river. So that's facing danger. And I think we're doing it quickly. He's trying to get across quickly. So he puts Griff on his shoulders. Griff whines. Griff is not happy about this. And Wigglef says, come on, Griff. It's shallow enough here. It's not too rocky. Let's get across. And he's going to try to ford the river. And so now we're rolling plus edge. We have plus three. We've got four momentum. We roll a four. Plus three is a seven against a five and a two strong hit. So we get to mark progress. And um, that's it. We're successful. So we successfully ford the river. So Wiglaf now gets to the other side of, whoops, now gets to the other side of the river. So now we're over here. And at this point, I think Wiglaf is going to have to make camp. And um, I think we're going to allow make camp to replace secure and advantage. Um, so we're going to camp for the night in the wild and we're going to like replace secure and advantage with this. Um, so it'll be the same basic idea with the scene challenge, right? You can get whatever the bonuses are. If you miss, you lose a countdown track and pay the price. So, um, so rolling plus supply, how many supply do we have guys? We have five, so we're in good shape. Rolling plus supply, and um, then we can maybe take some extra momentum. And that's all we can really get. So we really don't even need a strong hit. And we roll. Uh, we're not going to get one. Oh, no, we do. A 6 plus 5 is 11 against a 6 and a 10 strong hit. So we take plus 1 momentum. And we can't really do anything else. So we gain a momentum. And... We make a night. And so Wiglaf uh, crosses the river and um, he finds some twigs. We don't have a, a hand axe to chop trees down with anymore. And we make a fire and we camp. We put up a tent and we camp with Griff. And so now it's the next day. And we need to find a way across. So maybe there's an old bridge that used to cross from here to the island or something. Um, maybe there's something else we can find. Let's look around. So Wiglaf is going to, again, secure an advantage. I think, again, we're using wits because he's trying to look around to see if there's anything. I mean, maybe there's somebody with a boat. Maybe there's a ferryman. Maybe... There's a small fishing village, something like that. So let's see if we get any hits. So we roll plus wits is plus two against is a plus four two it's a four plus two is six against a three and an eight weak hit. So we have a short lived advantage. So um, so let's go back to the scene challenge. We get let's take plus two momentum. So we get back up to seven momentum. I love momentum, as you know. Um, and so we get a some sort of a small advantage. So what are we going to find? Let's roll action and theme and see what's the advantage that we get. So on action, we roll a 23, which is manipulate. And theme, we get a 15, secret. Manipulate a secret. So the secret of this lake is... The crab, right? We're going to manipulate the crab in some way. Okay, so we want to trick the crab, I think, into thinking we're going to go one way when we go another way. So I think what this means is Wiglaf brings down a deer with his spear. And he's going to carry the deer back across the river. Because it's still shorter to get to the island over here. He's going to carry the deer back across the river with his plan. Can't move me yet. we got to face danger. His plan being... 
to dump the deer in the water. Maybe downstream, let the current in the lake carry it this way, let the crab get attracted to the deer, and while it's attacking the deer, they're going to just try to swim across because they can't build a raft. So let's see if we can cross the river. He's now got the deer over him, so Griff is going to have to swim. So Griff is not super happy about this at all, but we're going to go ahead and face danger and see if we can um, get across. And now we're using our strength, which is same as edge, plus iron, to be strong enough to carry this dead deer across. So Wiglaf takes the deer, puts it over his shoulders, lugs it back across. Um, this is going to like eat up the rest of this day and uh, tries to ford the river again now that we caught a deer. And he's going to see if he can bait the Kalanect and get it away from where he wants to swim. So we roll a six plus three is nine against an eight and a two strong hit. So that is successful. Right? So Wiglaf gets across the river and heads over here. And he's now we've now reached this area. And now I think... So does Wiglaf want to... Maybe he wants to stake it to the ground or something. He wants to leave it as bait. And while the Kalanek is attacking this thing, we're going to try to swim across. So I think we're going to come down here. And he's going to see if he can locate the Kalanek. Right? He's going to secure an advantage. He's preparing. Um, and he's going to see if he can s find the Kalanek. He's looking for the Kalanek. I think this is unfortunately wits again. Keep having to roll wits. And we roll a 2 plus 2 is 4 against a 6 and a 1 weak hit. So we can have a short-lived advantage. So he sees where the Kalanek is. And um, he knows where it is. We take our momentum. We don't take any plus 1s on the future moves. But now we have a 9 momentum and we know where the Kalanek is. And so Wiglaf then goes to the shore. And he is going to lay the deer down and like just sort of throw the carcass out as far as he can and sort of push it out into the water and then run back. And he's trying to see if he can get the Kalanek to do this, right? So I think, I think if we look at face danger, it's deception. I think this is shadow. Now we do have nine momentum, so we might need that. We roll a four, plus two is six, against a five and a four strong hit. So he puts the deer out, and he splashes around and makes a bunch of noise, and then he he quietly swims back out like like treading water, so he's not making a lot of splashes, and the Kalanek goes for it and starts chowing down on this thing. So that is a strong hit that gives us more progress. Okay, and now Wiglaf and Griff are going to, Wiglaf says, come on, Griff, while this thing is chowing down, he and Griff are going to start swimming and trying to get enough momentum to get away from this thing. So they are going to start swimming. This is edge, plus three. And we roll a one, plus three is four against a five and a two weak hit. So I think this makes sense. Um, we get our hit. But the Kalanek finishes eating the carcass and his little eye stalks turn around and it sees us and it starts gliding. It goes under the water and there's a ripple of the water and it is going to come after us. And at this point, guys, I think we have enough that we're going to try to make it to this island. So Wiglaf says, come on, Griff, and they just book it to the island. I'm going to try to roll the progress move. We have eight and we roll a six and an eight weak hit. We succeed, but with a cost. Um, so let's think about what the cost is going to be. So let me pause while I look at this and think about what the cost will be. All right, I don't know how surprising it is, but a surprising development complicates your quest. I think this Kalanect sees where we get out of the water onto the island of the Spire, and it is going to camp us. It is going to stay right there. So when we try to come back, it's going to be waiting. It's going to be lurking in the, in the reeds, 
watching us with its eye stalks over the water and everything else submerged and it is going to be waiting and i'm not sure we're going to be able to scene challenge our way out of it we might have to fight it on the way out but that will come next we've now gotten another step in our vengeance we have reached whoops we have reached the island so we can go ahead and mark that and then go to our player character and we can mark another progress so we've got two steps of our quest and now we are on the island spire island we have completed our scene challenge so that worked out really well um, about as well as could be expected i guess and so now we're on Spire Island, and we're going to need to find the Spire. And I think at this point, Wiglaf just scouts the local area. He goes up on ground far enough away from the Kalanick that it won't come after them. And he's going to make camp, and he's going to apologetically say to Griff, it's getting warmer, it's spring now, so it's not that cold. Griff, we can't have a fire. So they're going to hang out. They're going to make camp. I'm not going to, like make a make camp roll because we don't really have to gain anything at this point right we haven't burned momentum we have everything's maxed so as to me it's not worth it so we're just going to um, sleep for the night without officially making a camp move and the next morning we're going to have to see if we can find a way into the spire of iron and i think that's going to be gathering information we're trying to find a way in, and Griff is going to help us. And he says, come on, Griff, let's see if we can find this spire. So we were able to see the top of the tower over the trees. But now that we're here, this is a pretty densely wooded island with lots of trees on it, and it's not clear how to get to it. So Wiglaf is going to um, try to gather information and then I think face danger. And if we can do both of those things we can get there. So first we have to figure out how to get there. So we're going to look for a path through the woods that we can follow, maybe a game trail or something like that. We're going to use Griff, who's helping us. We're rolling plus width plus one, which is plus three. And we roll a four plus three is seven against a five and an eight weak hit. So we get the information, but it complicates our quest or introduces a new danger. Um, so let's ask the Oracle, what new danger are we going to come across? Or what complication are we going to come across? So action is zero one scheme, and theme is thirty five. Scheme history. Okay, well, it seems to me this is pretty obvious. The most recent history we've had is the Kalanect, and it is scheming, right? It's not intelligent, but it is an ambusher, and I think what Wiglaf doesn't know is it came out of the water because crabs can live out of the water for a while and it's waiting for him and there's maybe there's like a pond on the island and it's right next to a game trail so Wiglaf finds a game trail that he can come across but the Kalanect is right there and it is going to ambush us guys we're going to have to fight it I think well it's a weak hit let's try facing danger and see so I think it leaps out and Wiglaf is going to face danger to try to get away from it rather than having to fight it. He's going to try to run. And, it, and this thing is not super fast on land, so I think if he can be successful facing the danger, he'll be okay. So we got plus one momentum from that. Right? It was a weak hit. It wasn't a miss. So I, don't, I think it's unfair to like force us into combat. But now we're going to face danger to run away. Come on, Griff. Let's get the heck away from this thing. We're going to try to run away from it. Plus edge. So that's plus three. And if we get away from it, we will get down the game trail, and having faced danger successfully, we will get to the delve, to the Spire of Iron. So we roll a 4, plus 3 is 7 against a 10 and a 4 weak hit. So we succeed, but at a cost. And I think it delays us, and we suffer a minus 1 momentum. So what happens is, they're on a game trail, and the thing is like in this muddy pool, and it leaps out at them, and Wiglaf says, oh, bleep! And starts cursing an Ironlander, and he grabs Griff's collar, and he says, come on. And they have to run off the game trail and into the woods. Because this thing is, remember, Griff, it's the same size as Wiglaf, but it's 
wide. It's six feet wide rather than tall. Wiglaf can fit between the trees. This thing keeps banging into them and has to keep going around. And eventually it just gets lost and it snaps its one claw and it waves its stinger and it gives up. And Wiglaf manages, huffing and puffing, to get to the Delve, which is the Spire of Iron. So we are now at the Delve. And what we're going to do, as I said last time, is we're going to go up by floors. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up the delve. And we're just going to keep going up and up and up. And so the bottom floor, whoops, the bottom floor is going to be the entrance, right? This is the lower level. And that is the first area that we're going to have. And I, I don't feel like we need to, like, envision that area. I think it's pretty obvious that this is going to be the entrance level. So in the entrance level, um, let's see. If we look at the delve, so it's an ancient ruin. So let's roll on the features and see what's in this area. And we get a 71. So it is an archive or a library. OK, so we enter the entrance and it turns out that in this, the Spire of Iron was partially a place of learning. And in this spire, on the lower level, there was obviously an entranceway and there's a spiral stair, I feel like, going up. But this entire first floor going around the area, right, all around the outside walls, there were a bunch of shelves that had books. Now, this is an ancient ruin, so the library is mostly crumbling and there isn't a lot of literature here. And we're certainly, certainly not going to find the ritual we're looking for here. But we might find some other stuff. So Wiglaf and Griff enter at the entrance level. Um, and uh, give me a second, and i got to put Wiglaf's picture on here, which I will do, and I will bring you back. All right, we're back, and Wiglaf is at the entrance level with Griff, and they're in this library. And now we have to delve the depths. We're going to go through the library and see what there is to see. Um, maybe we'll find something interesting. So I think, so Wiglaf is going to, I think he's going to start out by looking around the library and see if there's any information here that will be useful to him. Um, so we're rolling plus wits as we delve the depths. All right. And actually, well, no, wait. I think we're going to gather information first. And then we'll just delve the depths to, like, see if we can get through here to reach the next area. Um, on the other hand, I feel good to delve first because there might be a danger here. Let's start by delving. And if we're successful, we can gather information before we go to the next area. So we're going to delve the depths using plus wits. Um, because we're examining the area and observing the books and trying to see if there's any is useful information here. So rolling plus wits, we roll 3 plus 2 is 5 against a 10 and a 9. Miss. We reveal a danger. So there is a danger here. And um, let's go to reveal a danger. So Wiglaf starts out by examining the books, but as he begins to do that, 65 there's an environmental or architectural hazard. I feel like he starts looking at the books and one of the shelves is so rotted that it just falls right back on him and collapses. And he's going to have to face danger plus edge to see if he can get away. So he tries to dodge out of the way. And if not, he's going to get hurt. Roll a five plus three is eight against a two and a one strong hit. So Wiglaf hears the creaking of the woods and whatever pegs or whatever were holding it to the wall just finally give out because of his mucking around. And the whole thing just separates from the wall and falls on him. And Griff barks and Wiglaf dives out of the way. And wham! And it crashes. There's a whole bunch of dust and wood and uh, clatter and everything else. We get plus one momentum, but we're already over at nine. So we get back to ten momentum. And Wiglaf and Griff look at each other. And Griff kind of, mm -hmm. you know, like, what were you doing? Why are you looking at books when we need to get through this tower? And Wiglaf says, you're right, Griff. Let's not worry about the books. Let's just continue and see if we can find this ritual. And so he's going to delve the depths again and see if he can get up the stairs. Now he's going to try to do it, um, I guess, quietly. Because 
We well, we just made a lot of noise, right? Uh, don't know if I don't know how quiet we're. He's going to try to be quiet. He's like, okay, a bunch of noise was made, but that could have just been something collapsing. Let's not reveal ourselves anymore. And he's going to try to sneak through. Plus shadow is plus two, but we have ten momentum, which is pretty good. We roll a four plus two is six against a six and an eight. That would be a miss, but we are going to burn momentum, guys. We're going to take it all the way down to two, zero, and back up to two, and that's going to clear out both of those, and it's going to be a strong hit. So on a strong hit, we mark progress and find an opportunity. So uh, we go back to our delve. We mark our first set of progress, and this is two progress because um, it is a dangerous delve. So we get two progress. And we get to find an opportunity. So we climb the stairs, and let's see what kind of an area we find. So let's roll on features. And we get a 66, which is a courtyard. So I'm going to say it's, um, I don't think it would be a courtyard, right? Because we're in a tower and we're on the second level. So what's the interior equivalent of a courtyard? Um, uh, a large hall. So we get, we get to a pillared hall on the next level. Right, so a hall with all these pillars in it. And we also need to find an opportunity. Why does it keep doing this to me? I'm clicking it and it's ignoring me. We also need to find an opportunity. So let's go to the moves and find an opportunity. And let's see what opportunity presents itself here in this pillared hall. We get a 21. The terrain favors you or you find a hidden path. So I think the pillared hall is um, there. The pillars are pretty intact and Wiglaf can see that. So the stairs spiraled up the middle. We came up the middle of this and then there's this big hall. And what he sees is the next stairway is all the way um, to one side of the hall and it's going to spiral up the side of the hallway. So now we have to get through here. But again, there could be challenges here. I think Wiglaf is going to be going stealthily through this. I think it makes sense to be quiet. Come on, Griff. Let's go. And they begin creeping through the tower, the, the hall, hoping not to disturb anything. We don't have any momentum here. We have, we're rolling at plus shadow. And we roll a 5 plus 2 is 7 against a 9 and a 3 weak hit. So now we roll on the table against the shadow column and we get a 71 which is mark progress or find an opportunity. I think it makes sense since we already found an opportunity that we're just going to find another, or we're do, going to make more progress. So Wiglaf climbs up into the next area and we will mark progress. So we're doing okay in this delve so far. How are we doing on time? We're at 33 minutes. I think we have time to continue a little bit more. So let's see, we're now going to ask the Oracle, what's the next area like? So we find 63, rubble, a rubble choked hall. So we find another hall, but this one is rubble choked. The next level up so the level below was mostly intact but this level is crumbling and full of rubble uh come on don't do that to me there we go and um come on why is this ignoring me every time i'm clicking on it and it's not drawing what i wanted to draw So we're in this rebel choked hall. If I can just get the drawing to do what I want. There we go. So we're on the third floor now and it's pretty crumbled. And um, Wiglaf has to step across it and he's not sure where the next um, level of stairs is going to be. So he's gonna have to look around and he's going to delve the depths. And this is going to be with 
observation. So this is going to be plus wits, and there's no reason for him to be running through this area. So we're going to be rolling at plus wits, and he's going to sort of climb over stuff and see if... Uh, and let me just check this. Yeah, I just want to make sure we didn't we weren't supposed to reveal danger, but we weren't. So now we're going to roll plus wits and we'll see if we can pick our way over this thing very carefully and try to find um, the next staircase leading up to the next level. And we roll a two plus two is four against an eight and a ten. That's a miss. We're going to reveal a danger. So in this rubble choked area, we find eighty nine. A perplexing mystery or a tough choice? Hmm. Let me roll action and theme and see if anything comes to mind. 80, which is change, and 73, change memory. Hmm. What's 37? Change vow. Well, huh? Don't think we're going to do that. But change. So we have a choice. I think at this point, the tower divides. Right? It's a circular tower, and from this point up, there are two sides, two semicircles divided by a wall in the middle, and there are two stairways up. And Wiglaf is going to have to pick which stairway he's going to go up, and it might not be the right one. Right? I mean, we might be going in the wrong direction. So this is our tough choice. There are two stairways here. And so Wiglaf has to pick one of them. And so it doesn't really matter kind of which one he's going... Well, so uh, so I think this is, he, this is a good idea. All right, so he's going to pick the left one and try to go up it. And I think if we fail, then maybe it's blocked and he's got to come back down or something like that. So let's see what happens. So we, he's going to move quietly now, right, through the depths. He's going to move with shadow. And we're rolling again, plus two. And we roll a five plus two is seven against double ones. Matched. Strong hit. So that means that we find an opportunity anyway from a strong hit, but it's matched. This is the right way to go. So Wiglaf picked the right option. Okay, so we get a, we find an opportunity and uh, let's see what that is. Uh, 53. We locate a secure area. Okay, so this area is not collapsed, but is fairly secure. Let's see what we can get from the uh, features. We get a 7. Inscrutable relics. So Wiglaf finds an area with inscrutable relics. And the question, guys, is, is this what he's looking for? Is this going to be his objective? I think it's a little early for that. I mean, there's a chance we could roll below six. It could be a hit. But I feel like we haven't gone high enough. So we enter a secure area. So this is going to be an intact uh, chamber. I don't know what kind doesn't really matter. So this is an intact chamber on this side of the tower. Come on. What is with this tonight? Again, every time I click the circle, it turns into the draw tool. I don't know why it's doing that. It didn't used to do that to me. Um... So we're in an intact chamber, and um, a, and our opportunity was that it's secure. We don't really need to rest. So I think it's just a safe spot, and Wiglaf... I think Wiglaf can stop here and rest, although we're not going to like make camp or do any of that because Wiglaf has all the supply he needs. We're actually doing pretty well here. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of possible denizens, but we haven't rolled up a denizen yet. Um, 
I think Wiglaf feels like he's going in the right direction. We have to hope he is. And I think we're going to stop here, guys, in a safe spot. And we'll continue next time. I feel like if we get another progress and we get to 8, we may see if we can locate our objective and see if the ritual is there. And then we'll have to roll some things to see exactly how it's constituted and so on and so forth. So we've been delving the depths. And if we look at our um, vengeance vow, we found the spire and we entered it. So we got two more progress from that. And if we go back to our player character, we can go down to here and mark two more progress. So we're four progress on the vow to avenge our father's death. We've delved pretty far up. We managed to avoid the Kalanect twice. Um, we haven't really suffered too badly. We actually have been pretty lucky in this uh, particular session. We only missed once or twice. Uh, mostly weak and strong hits, and we've managed to get through this delve a lot more easily than some of the other delves. I'm a little worried about that, because my dice tend to turn on me, so I wonder if next session they're going to get revenge. Started out pretty weak with a lot of one, a couple of ones on the action die, but since then, the action die's been rolling pretty well, and the challenge dice have been kind of neutral toward me. Maybe I shouldn't say that too loud. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And um, I particularly love Delves, so I'm having a lot of fun with this. And I like the scene challenge. I thought that worked really well, too. Until next time, I am Scrapperlock, and this has been Ironsworn Antarctica.